Well, it's time for some more DIY. This space here, well, at the moment it's got like logs and everything and a few odds and ends here. It's been a working area for a while. Um, it was where there was once bunk beds. Well, the bunk beds, as we can see, are well gone. And I'm gonna put in a cabinet in here. I'm gonna hopefully somewhere to put my printer and all my printing stuff. So that sits in here. It's very dry up the centre of the boat, it's up the front of the boat, or well, not far from the fire. The fire's just there. And wherever I can hear. So I keep all my paper and all that sort of thing dry. And I'm going to build it out of all this. This was an old wardrobe I've chopped up. It was my parents. And I had to cut it up to get into my brother's car to get it here. But I should have cut it in lengths, I believe, that are usable. So let's see what happens. There's time to get on with it. Time to get the tape measure out, drills out, saws out, and crack on. I'm not sure if you spotted that there, but I have vacuumed the area out with my little vacuum. First thing I'm going to have to do is obviously remove everything out of the wood or, or, the, or the old hardware. So I've got here a plastic jug which I put a plastic bag into. I'm going to keep all the old hardware. I'm not quite sure if I need it or any of it. But if I throw it away, you can guarantee I will. So I've put a plastic bag in there so I can seal it up. Anything I need, I can get back later. Oh, and if you're wondering why the plastic bag in the pot, it just makes it an awful lot easier to throw it straight into there than if I had a loose plastic bag. So, just makes things a little bit easier. So here goes. Drills, screwdrivers, all sorts out ready. I think this would take some of it out. Ah, I need sort of a bit more oomph. Well, that's the first bit done. Lots to go on with. I won't record any more of me taking hardware off. I'll catch you again after I've done it. Well, that's all the hardware taken off now. So I'll put that away. Very easy that was putting it into there just gives you something simple to throw it into you don't have to worry about trying to open up bags with hands and everything all done and there's all the pieces of the old wardrobe now what i do is measure up how to cut it i bought this clamp specifically for doing this got easy move along so i get nice straight edges Otherwise cutting with a jigsaw is a bit iffy, but I can run the jigsaw up along the side of this and should get really nice straight edges. What I do now is measure it up. I'm cutting it at 90, 98 centimetres, 980mm. That's where I want it. Can 
can also use this of course as a straight edge so that's what I'm going to cut off now I need the jigsaw I need to work out exactly how much to put the clamp back away from the line to run the jigsaw along so let's go and get the jigsaw Jigsaw. Some blades. Always keep a pencil in there as well. Look. I did damage the plate on this a while ago. I was cutting the hole out for the chimney on the boat and the vibration through the vessel actually bent the place a little bit. I've sort of straightened it out. I think it'll be good enough for this job. I must order a new plate for it. And for this, I'm gonna use the finest tooth I have, which is ideal for cutting things like for micro or whatever it's called these days I don't know I've started the engine on the boat because I won't get enough power from it's rather dull day to run on solar I'm eyeing it up with that little pointer bit on the jigsaw so I will clamp it down and then we're all nice and tight. Well, when I use the jigsaw, I do use my safety glasses. I know people have told me off in the past I'm not using my safety glasses when using a chainsaw. But on the chainsaw, all the bits just fly down to the ground and they're big and they're not blown around in the wind. This little fine saw is going to be just blown everywhere, so I do wear my safety glasses. So that's the first cut made. I'm sure you don't want to watch me cutting up pieces of board all day. So I'll uh, switch off from here and I'll catch you again when I start some assembly work. Well, since cutting the first line, I did measure it and it's an extra three centimeters or 30 mil required. So I've now just uh, made the marker that much shorter than where I've cut. So that's the guide now for where the fence of the jigsaw will go. So I don't need to mark it and work it out thereafter. So now just an extra three mil, or first three centimeters rather, 30 mil. Right, now it's time to start some assembling. Uh, I'm gonna put, although this is the rough side, I'm gonna put that to the outside, because that's gonna go up to the bulkhead at the front of the boat. So that will go there, then this one will come here and fix on the top. I'm going to fix on the top, then I'm going to measure the distance to make sure I get the width of the board right for cutting the insert for the bottom. For simplicity for me, I'm going to be putting it together with these corner blocks. And screws. I could drill and dowel it like it was before, but to be quite honest with you, this is going to be, for what I need, quite good enough and uh, it's easier to do. So guess what? I'm doing it the easy way. I don't have to make sure I line up all the dowels. I don't have a jig for setting up the dowels to make sure they're all in exactly the right spot. So this way, if I'm a couple of millimetres out, it doesn't matter. And I don't care about having 
a space up in the board here where you know these lumps here I don't really care it doesn't make that much difference to me for the amount of wire I can put on the shelves I'm just going to check what length screw I want so this is the smaller ones yeah see how they look hmm a little bit more room there so I've got some which are fractionally longer here about five mil longer, that's all. Oh, they will work perfect. They go through about three quarters of the way through the board. That will work perfect. I'm going to see if I can put these in without drilling the holes. Uh, just because it's awkward to get the drill in there and it'll be at an angle. So let's see how it goes. Well, a quick change of plan. I've got the drills out. I am going to drill a little pilot hole. I've just tested the drill here. Made a little pilot hole in there. Check it's good for the screw, which is perfect. So I am going to use pilot holes. I was being lazy, but I shouldn't be. I'm going to put the blocks on here first. I'm just going to hold my finger level and draw the hole. I'm sorry, the wrong side of this, but uh, I need to lean it up against here. And uh, oh, I'll get going. There we go, nice and flush. Then the board, top board will sit over the top of this. And uh, hey, presto, we hope. I haven't actually measured it, I've just guessed a little bit of distance in. It doesn't have to be that accurate, it's for me. And also, it's wherever it is easiest to put it in. Well, what I've been up to, I've just put in a couple of strengthening bars to the bottom. This is the bottom, and I've just Put them slightly off the bottom just a little bit of a gap there so it's not going to snag where the floor of the boat might be slightly uneven well i do have some white backing board here but it doesn't fit so it's not going to get used well it's inside the boat the printer's going to sit up on here i've got the sockets here for the printer and then I'm going to make a space down here for all my wood and coal and things. That's the idea anyway. That is for the printer and I can put all my mounts and everything in there. So what I need now is people to order lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of my pictures. So I can pay for everything. <laughs> now, there's a gap at the back here at the moment. There is a wooden strip against the back here which i'm going to cut a little slot into so i can slide it back a little bit further i didn't cut it out to start off with i thought it was a lot easier to put this in first and then just mark it up with a pencil where i want to cut it and i can just push it back a little bit and it should just tuck up to this backboard that's the plan anyway we'll see what happens what i will do i do have some white end finishing pieces. I can just tack a piece along there just to finish it off with so stuff won't fall down the back. I'm not too worried about inside uh, because I'm gonna be putting things in plastic boxes basically in there. So they're not gonna fall out over the back. So it's time to continue. First of all though, a spot of lunch. 
I just realised it's half past two in the afternoon. I'm hungry. Well, I'm getting on. It's in here now. Probably see here. I've put a backboard in here. Uh, I've packed it out a little bit more of this end than the other end. And so as you probably know, boats are never square. So I've attached it to the back of the board. So it makes it real rigid. I've just put a screw in there and a screw in that end. So that's made it really, really rigid. Once again, not square, of course, across here. There's a little bit of a gap. So I've just put some of these on a little piece of white board here, which I had. And I'm just going to literally just put that up in there. And I'll just squeeze that in. That's mega strength of diesel if it's not going to go anywhere. I haven't glued it to the top, so if I have to pull the, this out for any reason, it should pull out. But at least it's filled up the gap, so nothing's going to roll off. So, that's it. Well, sort of. It's in. This is a good clean up. I can put the big boxes in around that way. I couldn't, I would, I really wanted to make it so I could get two across. I, the pieces of wood just weren't quite long enough. So it had to be one. But there needs to be plenty of room for stacking stuff as well. Uh, I can get two of these down on the bottom shelf and I'll get another one up on the top shelf. So uh, plenty. Got no backing in it, but I'm not too worried about that. As I say, everything's basically is going to be in boxes. If it's not, it'll be stacked. So that's it. Bit of cleaning up, bit of tidying up, bit of filling. I shall fill these holes in here and I shall paint the strip white. Uh, uh, besides that, a few touching ups. It's going to do the job it needed to do. Once again, repurposing things has cost me a few screws and that's about it so my parents gave me the wardrobe and uh well, i had to cut it up to get it here so there's a bit of a guesswork on the sizes so yeah i did go a little bit short but um ah, it'll work it's better than nothing oh, i'm a mess got sawdust in my hair dripping like a i don't know what Stink, I expect. It's hot and very sweaty today. But I basically got it done. Of course, I want to thank for my Patreon and PayPal supporters. And all you good people now support me on Super Thanks. I don't know if you've noticed that, but within the video, you can click on a link and you can make a donation to the channel. It's really, really nice for me, I can assure you. And people have been doing it. And I thank you very much. And your name will appear in the credits as well. I leave all names in the credits for at least two months after I've received a payment from people. Just so, you know, you're shown. I don't take you out on the next video. It can be a couple of videos before your name was show. Because sometimes I have three or four videos already uploaded. At this moment in time, I have three videos in front of this already uploaded. When I stop and I'm not moving for a couple of days... I've at, at the moment, I'm trying to get a few videos done, especially if I've got half-decent internet, uh, because I've been struggling a little bit this year. Hence, I've been making these shorter videos. But a lot of you seem to like these shorter videos, so I'm going to carry on with it at the moment. It means if I do have poor internet, at least I have half a chance of getting it uploaded. Well, as I say, I'm a complete and a mess. I want to go and clean up, get out of this yucky, sticky clothes, put all my tools away, and... Have something to eat. I haven't had lunch yet. And it's getting on. I don't know, it's probably three o'clock now. I did stop earlier on about two to grab something to eat, but I didn't. I just grabbed a drink of water. I do have an ice cream in the fridge or in the freezer. I think that could be eaten tonight as well. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little sort of DIY job. Just shows you what the little things I get up to on the boat. Anyway, that just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching, Trevor out.